students see we are under the topic matrices and determinants and today we are going to study about the solution of system of linear equations okay now see here we are studying the solution of system of linear equations using kramer's rule okay so even two variables are there we know elimination method or subtraction method some methods are there so here for three variables we are going to study the kramer's rule under or it is also called as determinant method okay now i have considered the simultaneous linear equations with three variables okay now see this system can be written as ax is equal to b also okay this is ax plus b how now see i write this simultaneous equation as the matrix a how the coefficients of x i write as the first column okay so it is a1 a2 a3 okay these are the coefficients of x which is written in first column okay now let us move to the second column here i write the coefficients of y okay so that is b1 b2 b3 okay now let us move to the third column which is the coefficient of z okay so the coefficients of z are c1 c2 c3 okay this represents the matrix a now what about this x this matrix x is of variables which are the variables used here x y z right so i write as a column matrix okay and this matrix b how to write this matrix b is using these elements here okay these numbers in the right hand side of the equations i write as the matrix b again it is a column matrix and i'll tell you why we are representing it as a column matrix now see what is this here multiplication right this matrix is multiplied with the matrix x right now if i multiply this matrix here i get the first equation how see multiplication we know what is the process like this right so it is a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 z is equal to which element first element b1 right so first equation we got how to get the second equation a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 z is equal to d2 so second equation so now we will get the third equation so this whole system of linear equations can be written as this matrix ax is equal to b where matrix a is this x and b okay now we are solving this right solution solution means what it is getting the values for x y and z right now i take the determinant of this matrix a okay this is a representation right okay this is equal to what is the determinant it is b1 it is between vertical lines not between square brackets right so it is b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 this was a matrix here i have taken the determinant of the same matrix okay now see this can be also written as delta right this is one more representation for determinant okay so delta is here now what i do is i have to solve this right what is my main intention to get the values of x y z not these right so now see to get the value of x the formula is delta x divided by delta okay delta already we know from that we can find out because those are the real numbers we get one real number for that determinant right now to find the value of x the formula is delta x by delta now delta we know how to find out delta x now see delta x is again a determinant but x is there now see this is also a determinant of order 3 but how x we want right so what i do here is in delta instead of the coefficients of x i delete this column because these are the coefficients of x and i have to find out x right so i delete this and i replace this column by the matrix b okay remember 
here the coefficient of x are a1, a2, a3. So to find the value of x, I have to delete this column containing the coefficient of x and I have to replace this column by the matrix P. Okay. So what will happen here? A1, A2, A3 will be replaced by D1, D2, D3. Okay. And the remaining as it is. Remaining column you have to write as it is. B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. Okay. This gives the value of delta x. And from that I get the value of x. Okay. So that delta x what value you get for this determinant. If you divide that by the determinant of the matrix A, you will get the value of x. Now let me tell you how to get the value of y. Similarly, to get the value of y, I have the formula delta y by delta. Okay. Now how to find out the value of delta y? Same way as we have done for x. What is delta y? See here to find the value of x, sir, we have replaced this given determinant here by the coefficients of x, right? Now, to find the value of y, we have to replace the coefficients of y with this matrix, okay? So, coefficients of x remain as it is a1, a2, a3 and what will happen with this coefficients of y? We have to replace by these values. So here it is d1, d2, d3. And what about third column? Third column remains as it is. Okay. So this value you have to substitute here. Divide that by the value of delta. You will get the value of y. Okay. Now delta z similarly. How to write delta z? Now you will be knowing how it is a1, a2, a3. b1, b2, b3. But c1, c2, c3 will be replaced by what? d1, d2, d3. Right? So here it is d1, d2, d3 and this determinant gives you the value of delta z. But how to find the, the value of z? It is delta z by delta. Okay? So this gives the solution for the given simultaneous linear equations. Now let us move on to some problems under two variables for solving using Kramer's rule. Okay. Now see, the equation is given as 3x plus 4y is equal to 7, 7x minus y is equal to 6. Now so what you have to find out here, you have to solve this. Means what you have to find the value of x and y using Kramer's rule. Well mentioned, using Kramer's rule. Don't go for your elimination method or many methods you know, but don't go for that. If they mention Kramer's rule, you have to solve under Kramer's rule itself. Okay. If you solve by any other also, they will not give you marks because this is important for two marks and it is a compulsory question in the exam. Okay. I see here. What I told you. Here simultaneous equations were given in the previous explanation, right? What is this? It is of the form a1x plus b1y is equal to b1. It is of the form a2x plus b2y is equal to b2, right? So here I will write the matrix A for this given simultaneous equations. How to write matrix A? I told you. The coefficient of x we have to write as the first column. So it is 3, 7. And the coefficient of y we have to write as a second column. So it is 4 minus 1, right? So from here we got A. And what about matrix x? It is the column matrix containing the variables x and y. And what about matrix B? B is the column matrix containing 7 and 6. Okay. Now what I have to find out here? Delta. What is delta? Determinant of this matrix A. Right. So it is determinant of 3, 4, 7, minus 1. Find out. How to find the matrix or the determinant of order 2? You have to cross polygon. So it is 3 into minus 1 which is minus 3 minus 7 into 4. So you get this as minus 31. Okay. We got delta. What about delta x? See, already we know how to find the value of x. The formula is delta x by delta. And how to find out y? y is delta y by delta. Right? So we have to find out delta and delta x to get the value of x. As well as delta y, you have to divide by delta to find the value of y. So how to find out delta x? I told you. To 
find by methods, we have to replace the column containing the coefficients of x by these entries, right? So, I have to replace this column by 7 and 6, right? So, this is 7 and 6 and what about this? This remains the same, okay? So, this is 4 minus 1. Now, calculate this. Again, the determinant of order 2. So, it is 7 into minus 1, minus 7, minus 6 into 4. So, this is equal to minus 31, okay? Now, let us go to delta x is done. Now, let us find out what is delta y. How to find delta y? Again, the same thing. Coefficient of x remains the same, 3 and 7. We have to replace the coefficients of y in this column by 7 and 6. Okay, now find out the value of the determinant. So, it is minus this, right? So, what is this equal to? This is equal to minus 31. Now, how to find the value of x? Substitute here. What is delta x? Delta x is minus 31 divided by what is delta? Again, it is minus 31. This is equal to 1. So, the value of x is 1. What about y? Delta y is minus 31 divided by what is delta? Minus 31. What is this equal to? 1. Now, see. What answer I got, whether I know it is correct or not, no. But you can check and verify. How? See, what I got here may be correct or may not be correct. Right? But you have to check. Sometimes calculation mistakes may happen. So, go to the equation here. Any one of them, not that person. Okay? I will come to this equation and substitute the value of x and y in LHS. If I get the RHS, then what I did is correct. Okay? So here substitute 3 into 1, 3 plus 4 into 1, 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So it is 10. Okay? So after getting the values, you won't be happy once you verify by substituting here. Okay? Because this is a compulsory question asked for 2 months in the final exams. Okay? So verify once you only to substitute and see. This fine calculation you do and check whether what you have got is correct or not. Okay? Now let us move on to the second thing problem with the same method. Okay. Two variables are there. So, method remains the same. Okay. Now, what is matrix A here? So, matrix A can be as 3, 4, 2, minus 3. Right. And what about matrix B? I can write however, not only x of B also I can write. 8, 5. What about x? So, x is x, y. For your practice I am doing, but actually these are not required, okay, not compulsory. In the exam, you can directly start with delta, okay, this step you can write as first step. This is not compulsory, you can skip it if you want, okay. Now, what is delta? So, it is 3, 2, 4, minus 3. Find out what is this equal to. So, it is minus 9, minus 8, right. So, it is minus 17. Now, go to delta x. We know what are the things we have to find out. Delta, delta x and delta y. Right? So, accordingly I find out. What is delta x? I have to replace this column by matrix B. Right? So, this 3 and 4 is replaced by 8 and 5. What about this? We are not replacing because it remains the same. Now, calculate this. Minus 24 minus 10. So it is minus 24. Then go for delta y. For delta y, coefficient of x remains the same. Coefficient of y, you have to replace by 8 and 5. So this is equal to, again, you have to find this determinant. So it is 15 minus Right? So, it is equal to minus 7 plus minus 17. Right? Now, let us go to 3, 4, 8, 5. Okay. Now, let me find out the value of x. What is x? Delta x by 
delta. So what is that equal to? Minus 34 divided by minus 17. It is equal to 2. And y is equal to delta y divided by delta. It is equal to minus 17 divided by minus 17. It is equal to 1. And now we have to check whether what we have got is correct or not. Now see what answers I got here. I have to substitute here any one of the equations, right? So I will substitute here. 3 into 2, 6 plus 2 into 1, 2. So it is 6 plus 2, 8. So what answer we got is correct. Okay? Let us model the third problem by using Kramer's rule we have to solve this equations. Okay? Now see, by this time you might be very familiar. So I don't write but it's say x and b. Now directly in charge, actually what is required for the exam is only this much. Okay? So write delta. How to write delta? Coefficients of x here and coefficients of y as a second column. Right? So how to find this? So calculate. It is 4 minus 15. So it is equal to minus 11. Now delta x. What is delta x? Again, x. The coefficients of x here replaced by 1 and 7. Right? So it is 5, 2, 3. Now calculate again. So it is 2 minus 35. So it is minus 33. Okay? Now go for delta y. What is delta y? Coefficient of x as it is your right. But coefficient of y you have to replace by 1 and 7. So calculate this. So it is 14 minus 3 which is 11. So what is x? x is delta x divided by delta which is equal to minus 33 divided by minus 11 which is 3. Right? So what is y? y is delta y divided by delta which is equal to 11 by minus 11 which is minus 1. Right? Now check whether what you have got here is right or wrong. Now calculate that. Calculate this. LH is substitute the value of x and y. So get 2 into 3, 6 plus 5 into minus 1, minus 5. Right? 36 so minus 5 which is 1. So what you got here is 10. Okay? Now let us want to see the variables. Two variables problems are very important for two marks in the exams. Okay? But three variables, you know they are not asked for the final exams, but preparatory exams, midterm exams, they are asked for five minutes. Okay? So you cannot skip this. You have to practice. But final exam point of view, this is not important. Only this you have to practice. It will be asked for two marks. Okay? So now, similarly, we have to do the or solve the simultaneous equations of three variables similarly. Now see here, if I have to write delta, again I will not write what is A, what is B, what is X, not required as your familiar. Now see how to write delta, same way as you have done for two cross two matrix. Now it is here, the coefficient of X we have to write as the first column. So what is the coefficient of X in the first one? Two. Here it is 1. Don't write 0. It is not 0. It is 1 into x. Right? So it is 1. What about here? There is no x term at all. Means what is the coefficient of x? 0. Okay? That you should remember. Now go to the second. Coefficient of y. So it is 5 here. 7 here. And here it is 1. Now go to third column. Coefficient of z. What is the coefficient here? 1. Here it is minus 6. Here it is 2. Okay? Now you have to calculate the determinant value of this. How? I told you. For finding the determinant of order 3, first step is to fix the sign. And I was telling you, here if you go for the column or the row containing the maximum number of zeros will be easier. Right? So, here if I go for this column, it will be easier. Why? Right? It contains 0 as 1 element. Right? So that calculation will reduce. So first to fix the sign. What is the sign? Plus, minus, plus. First step is to fix the sign. And now, you are familiar by this time, right? So, how to write? Plus 2 into determinant, remaining determinant, which is that. 
seven. This one. They will delete the row, and the column contains two remaining determinants. You have to find. This is again of order two. So similarly, you have to find. So it is seven into two minus one into minus six, which is minus six. But minus of minus six is plus six. Okay. Now go to the second. The first element with the remaining determinant is done. Now let us move on to the second element, which is minus of plus one, which is minus one into again the row containing one and the column containing one. You have to delete what is remaining five one one two, right? So that determinant you have to take. So it is five into two ten minus one into one one. Okay. Now go to the third element. Plus zero into whatever you do, it will be zero. So you need not calculate that zero into whatever. So what is the value of this? Which is thirty-one. Can you solve? You get the value as thirty-one. Okay. So here it is. And next, what you have to find out is delta x. What is delta x? Same as previous one. What we have to do for delta x? We have to replace the coefficients of x. By these values, right? Matrix B, correct? So I have to replace this by minus one, minus eighteen, and three, right? Then coefficients of y and z remains the same. Okay? Now again calculate the value of the determinant. Okay, here there is no row or column containing zero as one of the element or maximum number of zeros. So you have to go for first row. Okay, expand along first row. What is the first step? First step, you have to fix the sign plus minus plus. Now calculate plus into minus one, minus one into delete the row and column containing minus one. What is this determinant? So you have to calculate that. So it is seven into two, fourteen minus minus six, which is plus six. Okay, now go to the next element. Minus five, so minus five into delete the row containing five and column containing five. So I get minus eighteen into two. So this is minus thirty-six minus three into minus six. So minus of minus plus eighteen. So when you solve this, you will get the answer as thirty-one again. Okay, now. Solve for it and check what what I have written is correct or not. Okay, now go for delta y. What is this? So here we have missed one of the element here, right? So it is minus y into whatever we have calculated. Now we have to go for plus one into again delete the row and the column. So we get minus eighteen minus seven into three. Okay, when you simplify this, you will get the answer as G one. Okay, calculate that. Now see, we will go to the next process. Delta y. Okay, how to find out delta y? Again, it is two one zero. The coefficient of x remains the same, but coefficient of y we have to replace by these elements, right? So it is minus one, minus eighteen, three, and the coefficient of z remains as it is. So it is one minus six, and Okay, so this is equal to again here. This column will be easier compared to all the other, right? Any other row or column, this will be easier because it contains one of the element as zero. So fix the sign first. So here it is plus two into again delete the row and the column. You will get minus thirty six. Then minus so. Minus eighteen, so it is plus eighteen. Next, go to the next element. Minus into one is minus one into again delete the row containing that one and the column containing one. You will get the remaining as minus one into two, which is minus two, minus three into one, three. Okay. The next element is zero here. Plus zero into whatever you do will be zero, so it stops here. So calculate this. You will get this as minus thirty one. Okay. Now let us move on to the delta y. So delta z, right? So start finding out delta z. How to find delta z? So delta z is the determinant. Obtained by replacing the coefficients 
of z by those values minus 1 minus 18 and t okay so delta z is equal to coefficient of x remains the same coefficient of y remains the same and the coefficient of z you have to replace by minus 1 minus 18 c okay now calculate this again fix the sign right but where if you go for this calculation of the length here so you have to calculate along this so it is plus minus plus calculate this as you have done in the previous case and get the value of this so what value you get here will be 62 ok calculate and find out I am not going to do it the same process ok now see how to find the value of x we know the formula is delta x by delta and substitute here what is delta x 31 what is delta 31 so get the answer as 1 what about y y is delta y by delta which is equal to substitute again we get minus 31 divided by 31 which is minus 1 ok and find the value of z which is delta z by delta which is equal to 62 divided by 31 which is equal to 2 ok now again you have to check whether what values we have got here is correct or not see to substitute here this equation is easier compared to that right substitute here what is y y is minus 1 so this will be minus 1 plus 2 into what is z 2 so you get this as 4 minus 1 which is 3 so what you got is correct ok so once after getting the values of x y z always go and verify with one of the equations don't forget this now let us move on to the next problem now see this is the equation is given let me start with writing delta how to write delta the coefficient of x what is the coefficient of x here 4 what is the coefficient of x here there is no x term so the coefficient is 0 and what is the coefficient of x here see here the terms are not in the proper places right so you have to search for coefficient of x properly here x term is there don't think that x is not there here so it is 0 ok so here it is 5 then go to coefficients of y here it is 1 here it is 3 and here there is no y term so the coefficient is 0 now let us go on to the coefficient of z here there is no z term so coefficient 0 here it is 4 and here it is 3 ok now calculate the value of the return length along any row or any column whichever you are comfortable because here row 1 also contains one of the element as 0 column 1 also contains one of the element as, element as 0 and row 3 also contains the one element as 0 so any one of them you can choose ok so fix the sign first then calculate this that is 4 into 9 minus 0 then minus 1 into the row and column will be 0 minus 20 ok so get this as 56 because third element is 0 so you need to calculate that now let us move to delta x how to write delta x replace this by 752 then remaining as it is not right right now again calculate the value of the determinant ok along row 1 it will be easier fix the sign plus minus plus now go for first element plus 7 into 9 minus 0 then minus 1 into delete the row and column you get 15 minus 8 so the answer is 56 now go for delta y the coefficient of x remains as it is but you have to replace the coefficients of y by those values 7, 5, 2 and the coefficients of z remain same as it is you copy them now again go along row 1 any how it is not that row 1 only you can go for any row or any column now it is 4 into 15 minus 8. 
Then minus seven into relieve the row and column, we get zero minus twenty. You calculate, simplify this because third element is zero, and simplify this, you will get delta y as one sixty eight. Okay, simplify. Now go for delta z. What is delta z? Don't replace anything in first column and second column. Third column, the coefficient of z must be replaced by seven five two. Now calculate again along any row or column. This will be easier, right? Why? It contains zero and one element. It's a sign. Plus minus plus. Then calculate this. So it is four into six minus zero. Minus zero into what will be zero? So that is not required. Now go for plus five into delete the row and column. You get five minus twenty one. So when you solve, you get this as minus fifty six. Okay. Now find out the value of x. What is x? Delta x by delta. So substitute. Delta x is fifty six and delta is fifty six. So get the value of x as one. What is y? Y is delta y by delta. So y delta y is one sixty eight divided by fifty six, which is three. Now go for z. What is z? Delta z by z. Sorry, delta. So which is equal to fifty six. So delta z is minus fifty six divided by fifty six, which is minus one. Now you have to check whether what answers you have got here is correct or not. Now check for first equation. Four into x. What is x? One plus value of y is three. What do you get? Seven. So which is right? Okay. This is just mind calculation. You need not write answer. Okay. This is important. Clear? Now let us move on to the next topic, which is minor and cofactor of a square matrix. See, there is a five mark question which will be asked for the exam and which tells you to find out the inverse of the matrix. Okay. To find inverse, you should know how to find the determinant of the given matrix as well as you should know how to find the edge joint of a matrix. Okay. For finding edge joint, minor and cofactor is very important. Okay. To find minor and cofactor of each element of the given matrix is very important. So this is a basic one. Clear? So now see what is a minor of the given square matrix. Now see. A is any square matrix. Then minor of an element A I J, okay, of one element in that particular matrix is the determinant obtained by deleting its i row. See which row i row and j column. Here when we represent this is the first one represents the rows and second one represents the column. So when you take A I J, you have to find the determinant of That element by deleting i row and j column, okay, in which that element a and j lies, where it lies, either the row, whichever row and whichever column it lies, that row and the column you have to delete, and the remaining determinant value gives the minor of that element, okay. So minor of that particular element a and j is denoted by capital M I J. This you have to remember. So minor of I J is okay. So however, if you take I as one, J as two, then it is M one two. Okay. For example, if I take a matrix A with some entries, okay. Now here, this is the element of first one, first column, right? So I can write this as A one one. This is A one two. First row, second column element. Here it is A two one. How? Second row, first column element. Second row, second column element. So this is a one one, this is a one two, and this is a two one, and this is a two two, right? So now this is a one one. So if I have to find out f one one minor of first row, first column element, then what is that? According to the definition, it is the determinant obtained by that first row and first column where that a one one lies, right? So a one one is here. So I have to delete that first row and first column. What 
they get eight. That is minor of two. Okay. Or we write this as minor of two also. Instead of this m one one, I can write minor of two is equal to eight. Okay. Likewise, what is the minor of four? Again, I have to delete the row containing four and the column containing four, so I get this as minus one. Likewise, what is m one two? You can represent either m one one or minor of two also. Again, like that. What is this? This is minor of minus one and minor. What element is this? M two one, right? Second row, first column element. Correct. So what is M two one? I have to delete this row and the column. I get four. Likewise, what is M two two? That is minor of eight. I have to delete the row containing eight and, and the column containing eight. I get this as. So this is about minor of the given. Matrix and minor of the elements in the given matrix. Okay. Now see that is about minor. And same way we are going to find for the matrix of order three also. Okay. So you have to see where that element lies in the col that column and sorry, that column and the row you have to delete. Remaining determinant value gives you the minor of that particular element. Okay. Now let us go to the cofactor. The cofactor of that element. See, minor of such element we have found. Now, cofactor of such element we have to find out. What is the denotation for that? It is denoted by capital A and J. See, if you just write capital A, it represents the matrix. Okay. If you write capital A and J, then it represents the cofactor of A and J. Means the cofactor of the element present in I row and J column. So what is the formula to find that? If a i j is equal to minus one power i plus j into m i j, okay? What is this m i j? It is the minor of the element a i j, right? Okay. Now see for the same example. For the same example, I'll find out what is a one one. Now see what is the formula? Minus one power i plus j, right? So it is minus one power i is one j is one. So it is one plus one into m i j j. What is that? M one one, right? Here it is one one. So i and j is one one. Now see minus one power two it is. What is minus one square? Plus one. So this is plus one into what is m one one? We got that is equal to eight. So it is plus eight. Okay. Now let me go to a one two. So it is capital a one two. If you write small a one two, it represents this element itself. Okay, small a one two is this itself. Small a one two is four. Capital a one two represents the cofactor of the element present in first and second column. Okay, so this is equal to what? Again, this is the formula. Minus one power i plus j. I is one, j is two. Then into m one two. Right. So here it is minus one power three, which is minus one. Into what is m one two? It is this one, right? So it is minus one. So we get this as plus one. Now go to a two one. What is a two one? Again, apply the formula. Minus one power two plus one into m two one, which is equal to minus one power three again, which is minus one. Into m two one. What is m two one? Four. So get this as minus four. Okay. Now go to a two two. What is capital a two two? Again, it is minus one power i is two, j is two into m two two, which is equal to here minus one power four is plus one, and m two two we got as two. So here it is plus and here it is two. Now look at this. We got see here whenever Here we substituted. We got the first element as plus, second element as minus, third element minus, fourth element plus. But see, compared to this, here minor of. See, accordingly we can fix the sign for these elements. How? For order two. For order two, the 
sign can be fixed as this plus minus minus plus and for order 3 we can fix the sign as plus minus plus minus plus minus and it is plus minus plus how about you see here when it comes to aij minus 1 over i plus j here you see this is of i row and j column what is the row here 1 first row first column so when you add you will get 2 so here when you take this you will get plus sign and when you go to this one it is a 1 2 so when you substitute you will get minus 1 power 3 which is minus 1 so minus sign remains as it is now go to this element again minus 1 power 2 plus 1 here so minus sign remains as it is now go to this element it is a 2 2 so here it is minus 1 power 2 plus 2 which is power 4 which makes it positive now come to 3 cross 3 how again same thing here it is a 1 1 right 1 1 so 2 power 2 minus 1 power 2 is positive again here a 1 2 so it is minus 1 power 1 plus 2 3 so minus 1 power 3 is minus 1 again come to this it is a 1 3 right so 1 3 when you add 4 so minus 1 power 4 is plus again here this is a 2 1 right so 2 plus 1 3 minus 1 cube is minus 1 so go to this a 2 2 so minus 1 power 2 plus 2 4 power even so it is positive again come here it is a 2 3 right so 2 plus 3 5 odd power of minus 1 is negative Likewise, it goes. Okay. So to remember a joint, you have to remember these signs for order two and order three.